but we'll go ahead and run over some uh, familiar topics as well as a couple of the new things that have popped up between uh, July and now. I mean, one of the first ones uh, was a uh, new region and experience uh, that I had a lot of fun with. I saw it, and um, having gone to uh, San Diego Comic Con a number of times, I recognized the company, uh, Zenoscope, um, as they are uh, quite popular with uh, the comic genre, and they've also branched out into uh, the entertainment industry uh, with, uh, if anyone watched the sci-fi series, uh, oh, shoot. The name just escaped me, uh, Van Helsing. Um, so the, Zen the Zenicope, excuse me, the Zenicope, geez, one more time, the Zenoscope experience is a new region um, brought upon um, almost partnership between the Second Life and the creators uh, behind the Zenoscope. Um, you're going to find all sorts of familiar um, things to do in the region, uh, such as and there's a couple of cool things um, if you go in the region right now. Uh, I particularly recommend the giant Jabberwocky. Uh, just walk up to him and see that huge beast react to you, and you might want to end up somewhere else. Uh, so really excited to see uh, that company in Second Life because um, they bring a lot of uh, ideas, and uh, if anyone's familiar with their work, um, their stories are very colorful, and um, we're excited they're aboard and um, what they're going to be bringing to our universe. Yeah, it's really quite an exciting uh, project. Lots to do there. Lots of fun things. It's worth checking out, especially if you're a fan of it. But even if you're not, just check it out. It's cool. It's just a new fun place, and uh, we're always happy to see those pop up. Um, and since the pandemic, I think uh, you know Second Life has definitely risen up the ranks as far as um, you know being aware. Um, people are noticing us more. So um, yeah, we're excited to see, you know, established, uh, you know, properties um, make a home here. It just kind of uh, enriches the experience for the residents. Sorry, I'll take that for you. Um, for the large part, if there is a problem hey, that Martha. you see, um, please feel free to uh, put in a support ticket under the category land and other land. Um, that way we can get it over to the moles and the land team and they can fix it and start working at it. I know they've been looking at some of the, some of the older content, including in Bay City, um, for possible upgrades. Locations, specific locations as to what, uh, you see and what you would like updated also helps, uh, by saying, you know, we'd like this roadway updated. Um, if you can provide a slurl to if uh, something has kind of fallen in a disrepair or is no longer in sync with everything else, um, that would at least, um, you know, fix their attention on a specific point. Maybe they can um, do something about that quicker than versus a, like a, a larger project that would require, you know, a budget. I know uh, one that I had yesterday, which someone is actually here. Right. Um, with a road that had uh, incorrect uh, settings. Uh, so that, you know, just got that over to land and they were able to fix that pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, bigger things are going to take a little bit longer, uh, you know, but we'll get them to them as quick as we can and they usually jump on them pretty quick. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get some of those sorted out. And yeah, uh, Prokofi, Primdrift, that's always, I mean, especially back in the old days, that was really bad, but... Uh, you know, it's gotten a little bit better, but we still see it every so often. I guess we could talk about the uh, Halloween Shop at Hop as well, right? Sure, I can touch on that. Um, as you all know, we've been doing uh, Shop at Hops for different... Uh, events or times of year, Christmas, Valentine's, so forth. Uh, the Halloween one is going to be coming up for too much longer. Uh, if you are a designer uh, or if you know designers and want to talk to them, uh, the applications are out right now for the Halloween Shop and Hop. Uh, Vix just put the link in. Um, you know, 
Last one, I think, was uh, SL18B, and we had uh, 16 regions of shops. Uh, it was extremely, extremely popular. So, uh, yeah, if you own a store and know someone that does, shoot them that link um, and have them sign up. Oh, and welcome for joining us, Whitney. Hey, Whitney. Yeah, we have a line of person. Hey, hey. So I'll touch on, oh, <laughs> yeah, so I'll touch on the uh, new user experience. Uh, we released some brand new Welcome Islands for new users featuring a completely new look and feel. While they're still being tested, a large number of new accounts are being sent there versus the previous Welcome Island. So there's a new guidebook that is available for new users that will aid in teaching the basics of Second Life, uh, examples like how to walk, uh, how to chat, and so forth. Enabled by default for new users and can be reached using F1 in the latest viewer. Uh, what kind of changes were you talking about, Profki? Anything specific? And this is the uh, latest Second Light viewer, right? Um, I'm out just out of curiosity, Prokofi. Is it going to um, uh, the favorites folder? Yeah, uh, we are aware of that, and mm -hmm. that is a known bug um, that is being worked on for the next, uh, because that's obviously not where they're supposed to go. They're supposed to go in the Lanamarks folder. So yeah, that's that is being worked on. Our apologies. Hey, Timo. Um, well, I'm sorry to hear about that trouble, and it's unfortunate if um, renters are leaving. Um, we are not able to discuss abuse-related issues here, um, but I thank you for filing the abuse report because that sends the issue directly to the governance team who reviews them. Um, you can file uh, another report, as you sounds like you have uh, with any new information. But unfortunately, the most that we can do here is help facilitate reporting, uh, you know, otherwise letting you know um, how to file and to confirm that um, it was received. Um, beyond that, uh, we couldn't offer any more uh, information related to it. You're welcome, Prokofi. I didn't want to. I wanted to make sure that you didn't think that we were just ignoring you. That's why I also typed it in so that you could uh, be able to hear that or have that. I was going to bring up uh, the uh, latest Linden Holmes, uh, which have been released, the new fantasy ones. They were premiered at SL18B. Uh, they are out and available now. Uh, you can get those through the usual uh, 
Linden Home web page, um, as always. Um, they do have a couple of kind of cool features first that we've done with this sort of thing. Um, yeah, it does. Um, it also, the lighting and the glow change a bit throughout the day. Um, it's a little bit more intense at night rather than uh, during the day, uh, which adds a little bit of difference and also looks really nice in the nighttime. Um, there's also uh, some of the landscaping and so forth will actually change a bit of their look and feel uh, seasonally. Um, so that's kind of a neat feature. I don't think that change has happened yet until, you know, probably pretty soon because of autumn coming. Um, that I don't know. That I don't know, Prokofi. Um, you will be seeing more of the, uh, the fantasy homes being released. There's, they've been pretty steadily released over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and also adding the other types, uh, they'll be released kind of near daily. Uh, so if you haven't found the right one yet, it could be available to you pretty soon. Um, and, uh, there's also, of course, other themes that will still yet be coming. So hopefully we'll see those before too much longer. Sai, I don't know if we'll be bringing back open space as far as standalone. I know that we actually are offering them uh, for the last couple of months uh, to existing landowners. Um, you will have to file a support ticket for those. They're not available just through the land store. Uh, but we can set you up for that. Yes, please go ahead. Ah, yes. Um, we actually uh, were talking about that yesterday. Um, I know that's going to be reviewed because, yeah, a lot of people expected to be able to click on their avatar to the group's menu. So that's a good catch, and it's definitely one that we're looking at, too. I, and I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it is being looked at. So who do I talk yeah, to about my viewer request? Is it you, Wendy? Vix? Um, viewer requests, generally speaking, viewer requests are going to go through, uh, uh, you, know, you can file a JIRA on that, or uh, just in general, if you had just general discussion points, I'd bring it up at the, uh, the, the uh, what, server and viewer group. Well, um, I've done that. I bring it up every meeting yeah. I go to. It's over that thing about press to talk. Right. I accepted it as a feature request two years ago. And it's got loads of followers, loads of people want it. But it's never been implemented. And all it is is a debug range. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I show it. It's sure still why. active. Um, but, yeah, we wouldn't be able to set a priority to it. Um, we can relay if um, you know, there's more people looking at it. Like, hey, we you know have a lot of residents asking. We can meet Wendy and I can do our part to kind of send it up to our team. They say that you know a lot of people are asking in this meeting. Um, 
And that happens a lot. You know, we kind of mentioned um, what happens with any takeaways from the meeting. So we can definitely bring it up like, hey, this came up, and that's come up maybe a few times if I remember. I don't recall. It probably has. Um, but we'll do our part to um, uh, make our supervisor aware at least. And then, um, you know, hopefully it can gain some traction that way. But that's what we can do here within our power, at least. Yeah, no, thanks, Vic. That's all I'm asking. I'm just being sure a squeaky thing. wheel, you know. If I'm a squeaky wheel long enough, someone will oil me eventually. I should hope so. Um, Adam, uh, it is still in process. It's uh, been going back and forth with approvals with Apple to get it uh, at least started to get out. Um, so that is, it's getting pretty close as far as, as far as a beta release is concerned. Hopefully sometime soon or, you know, soon with a trademark after it. But, um, you know, that's the goal. Hey, Adam, I don't have a lot of info. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wendy. Sorry, I cut you off. That was that's my bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. I was pretty much finished. I was just covering the mobile viewer stuff. Uh, Adam, uh, regarding the mobile viewer update, I don't think we have an update. Um, but if we do, we'll definitely share it. And something that's, you know, shareable, um, we'll definitely, it'll be one of our topics here that we can bring to the team. And if it happens that, you know, it lands on the featured news page before us, then it'll definitely be on our agenda. So um, any big news, I know the mobile viewers, uh, mobile viewer would definitely be a big news kind of a thing. Um, once we have something to share with us as like in company-wide, uh, it'll be put up there first. That's easy, Adam. He's not here. He can't defend himself. Yes, Mojo's actually, um, he's an EVP, uh, he's kind of taking uh, the Oz position. Um, I'm not sure what exactly is going to be on his, uh, his radar right now. Um, obviously, he just started with us, so uh, he's still kind of, you know, coming into the position. Uh, but I'm sure there will be something soon on him. Oh, we have some good news to share regarding a DT. We're now oh, able yes. to uh, finally copy accounts over to the beta grid and resync existing kind of inventories, which is uh, great news. Hooray! <laughs> Long time coming for that one. Yeah, great um, news all around. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you need your account resynced or you're, you're having trouble getting in, uh, go ahead and file a support ticket, uh, as you probably already have been and uh, we'll definitely take care of you. Um, the process is still being um, ironed out. Uh, a couple of wrinkles are still clearing, but um, yeah, we're definitely back into the um, business of copying cons over. So um, good news all around. And um, yeah, if you need help, yeah, send in that ticket and we'll get you sorted. I would say uh, account issue, change account details. Yeah, or login. I know there's been some issues, even with uh, the new system, where 
uh, some names are having issues getting synced, and it might take us a couple of times, but uh, we will get you in. That's correct. That's correct, Torek. Um, generally, if you haven't been in or if you haven't been in um, since, say, last November or so, um, then, yeah, I would definitely put a ticket in um, on you or your alts, being Adam asked, um, and we can sync the account. That's not a problem. nice to know i thought it was me it's nice to know it's you yeah it was us it was us yeah uh the the background on it the the dd logins um the way that they work the way that we sync them um had kind of uh gone south when we uh did the uplift and uh that had to be pretty much rewritten uh, the whole syncing and logging in system, uh, hints of the delay, um, but that is back up now, so fingers crossed it stays all fine. Any other uh, general questions, concerns, et cetera? Happy to answer. Quick one for you about governance. They canceled their last meeting, which was at 25th of June or something. There's nothing, just says canceled. So is that the end of the governance meetings? Do we know? No, it's not. Uh, but there were some uh, scheduling conflicts that caused them to be canceled and kind of dropped for a couple. But they will indeed be back. On the governance uh, meeting, sorry. <laughs> Can't you proxy? Yeah, I know I've seen at least one for sure. What was that, Torque? I, I was just going to ask is if it's possible for someone to send a notice out or something when there is one, because I keep checking in and there isn't. And um, it's bound to be that when there is one, I don't check in. How would we find out other than the page? I don't suppose someone could send a message in concierge, could they? Hmm, I don't see why we couldn't. Uh, usually a lot of stuff gets, the bigger stuff, of course, gets on the blog, but, or you can ping me. That's possible. We can um, at least uh, send that up as far as like a request. They uh, would yeah. like any assistance in spreading the word when the next meeting's happening. Yeah, not an ongoing thing, just the, you know, the next one, because it's been such a long time now that I just think everyone's going to miss it, aren't they, when it is posted? Yeah, makes sense. can certainly spread the word. I know a lot of people come to us for the governance help, so it'd be easy for us to say, oh, hey, here. <laughs> And please go ahead, Prokofi. I care, and I always feel bad because we do get a fair number of governance questions, and um, we really don't necessarily know a lot of them in concierge because governance handles these things. So it'd be good to be able to at least spread the word, make sure people know where they can get the information they need.
Hey, Park Hockey, I'm, I'm reading your question right now. What do you mean by land getting dates now in July and August? I'm not sure I'm following. Okay, that could ju um, just be us consolidating because a lot of times if we're out and about and we see a bunch of small abandoned parcels on the same region, we'll join them up just because it's neater and a lot of us have, are kind of OCD about that kind of stuff. But yeah, as long as it says abandoned land, you can always request it. Yeah, nothing makes us twitchier than to go out and see like a whole bunch of little 16 meter abandoned parcels all next to each other. They're here. I've seen that myself. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes me itchy. I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta fix that. Uh, what do you mean? What about the right of way? What about it? But yes, it does reset the date on them. You're correct. Um, Squeaky Mole um, does most of our railroad stuff. Um, I know he kind of works on that in between other mole projects. I don't 100% know the answer to that, but it's possible. I know he's he's working on some different railroad stuff, switches, etc. Torque, uh, I think you mentioned that before, but what do you see as far as the splash screen? Like, uh, how is it looking broken for you? Uh, it's the featured destinations or any of those things down the bottom that um, tell you places to go. They're all appearing in random order. And what happens is you get featured, and then as more uh, events are added during the month, you get bumped off completely, and it's not meant to work that way. I did speak to Strawberry, and she said that it was some minor thing they'd done, but it's exploded or something. And I think you might have an internal Jira on it. No, it's it's broken prop because um, I asked Strawberry about it. She said it's not meant to work that way. I'll tell you the knock-on effect. The knock-on effect is that we're going up for the first of. September, which is horrible to think. If I was to put my destination in for the month at the first, by the tenth, I'll be missing. So you sort of like put it in half the way through the month for all of the month, it, and it doesn't really make sense. It's meant to be an ascending order of popularity, and it's random. It's completely random. It's not alphabetical or anything. But if you flick through it, you'll see that some regions display how many agents there are on the region, and it's usually done in descending order. If you flick through it, it's completely random now. Some things have numbers. I mean, really, they should all say numbers, shouldn't they? have been here almost 10 years and I don't know of any time that we've taken anybody's land forcibly to put a railroad there. Yeah, the only rem remote comparison I can think of is uh, way back with uh, the Zindra moves, things like that. And in all those cases, we reached out and tried to make arrangements to make sure that 
um, everyone was getting what they wanted. It wasn't, we didn't force anything on anyone aside from having to make the move. It wasn't that kind of, we're going to take your land. Yeah. Yeah. That's not, I mean, even with, you know, group land that I do, that's, you know, under supported, I reach out a lot before I take it back. So it's just, just not something we're going to do. Yeah, and like and like was said, you know, if something like that would come up, we would, you know, I don't know, be like, hey, can we put you somewhere else? And like, like Torek said, if you said no, I mean, that would pretty much be that. We're not going to force that. Believe it or not, our ultimate goal is to keep everyone happy. I know if everybody doesn't always believe that, but that is our ultimate goal. Now you tell me, Whitney. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about there, so I couldn't really speak on that. Sometimes Cy, uh, well, yeah, um, if you have renters that um, are, are jumping uh, or leaving the parcel, um, from my experience here, um, we also receive questions from uh, potential and first-time uh, landowners um, that started out either with a mainland parcel or renting from someone else, and they kind of reached a point where they wanted to do more but were constrained, you know, by one limitation or another. Um, so now they're kind of branching onto their own and um, you know, now they're private region owners. And um, so it's not always that um, you know, they're leaving because you know, maybe they're unhappy. Maybe they're leaving because they're ready to, to grow with Second Life. So sometimes it could be a positive thing uh, when they're ready to you know, experience more. I just wanted to toss that out. She would fit right in, Karen. Any other questions so far? Anything uh, land or support related? Do we have any news on these high performance regions that we're talking about? It seems to have sort of been and gone that, that discussion. Uh, the event regions. Uh, no, I haven't heard any new information on that. I think they're still working out some of that internally, uh, but it is still in process. It is definitely being looked at. That would be lovely. And like um, Brock says, there is prim drift, but I didn't. I thought I was the only person who was having it, so I didn't put a ticket in. We are not, Adam. Some of us are we're moon lab all the time anyway, but no, those that were in the office are not back in the office yet. Have any 
of you guys heard anything about map prim drift it's really strange because it doesn't matter what view you're on sometimes when you go into edit it snaps back to where it should be so if you've adjusted it you make it wrong and this is a new phenomenon no that's i mean prim drift has been around for a long time but that's interesting uh the way you describe it i want to take a look at that actually um Bill, i know some of the moles have mentioned it um, that they have experienced it with some work that they were doing, but that's really kind of all I know about where it's at. I've heard about it, but yeah. So if you if you relog before you adjust anything, sometimes you think, ah, it was correct after all. It's very strange. I think that's the question. <laughs> I vaguely remember Prokofi back in, uh, I want to say 2004 or five, somewhere back there, well before my time, um, there being a uh, attempt on someone's part to uh, script a, a, a prim rot uh, so the prims would wear out after time and with disastrous results, it ended up really damaging a lot of very, very old builds, uh, including, I guess, the Boardwalk and Varney. Um, so I think that idea got scratched pretty quickly, thankfully. It definitely sounds like something that's going to need some looking at. We don't need Prims doing that. Prokofi, do you mean for uh, ground textures or for other use? Yeah, I don't know. It's a good question because I know that there's been, there actually has been some discussion going on about maybe doing some, some updates to that. So maybe that'll be one of them. I don't know. I know I'd like it or, or even some better, better math on what goes where on uh, terrain textures. Because they can be a little fiddly at times. I don't blame you.
Yes, it is, Tark. And no, it does not require, that does not require a relug, even though it's in debug. Um, that one will change pretty quickly. Typically, at least with the uh, SL viewer, it will stick after, as long as you don't crash or anything on a relog. Um, but just, you know, set it, you can uh, continue to have it for that period. Um, when you relog, it'll stay when you, when you come back, presuming that you didn't crash out. I actually don't have the numbers on that. Um, that would be curious because it's a lot. Mm, I can let me see if I can find my number. Yeah, he would definitely be closer to that, Whitney, than concierge. About 1,600 right now. No, just the new ones, the Bells area. My super secret spy tools. Oh no, you've said too much, Whitney. <laughs> um maybe. I don't I don't know off the top of my head how many original Linden Home regions there are. I have no idea. They're not getting moldy, I can tell you that. There's still a lot of people wanting them. Yeah, I still see a lot of calls for, for some of the old ones. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see us, you know, coming down your street with a bulldozer anytime soon. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know that right now there's there's not been any any talk yet about uh, depreciating any of the old ones. What do you mean policy on moving from old one homes? I mean, I don't, like Wendy said, there's no talk of that at this point. I'm not saying it's never going to happen, but I don't know. I mean, it's not anything that we're looking at anytime soon. I think sometime after that, January 2022 is... I would say that would be a not, safe bet. Not long off. <laughs> not long off at this point. Yeah, I would say it would be a safe bet to say with pretty good confidence it will be after that point if and when it happens. I will say we, as a company, are very sensitive to the needs of our residents that have been with us long enough to have, you know, have, we have people, oh, I've been in this London home for the last how many ever, you know, years. We're very sensitive to that. Oh, definitely. There's definitely resident, I mean, I've worked here almost 10 years, but there are definitely residents that have been around longer than that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Guy, I don't know if you're older than Guy. Guy's pretty old. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's older than most everybody left. Oh, I don't think anyone wants to do that. <laughs> no, no. No, he has a lot of knowledge. Exactly. Exactly, Karen, yes. <laughs> Jinx. You would be surprised how many comments he gets about that. See, but it's it's classic. It's vintage. I like it. Speaking as a Linden wearing a blue frock coat like his, you know, just <laughs> different. Yeah, you guy, like 10 minutes guy knows, left, by the way. Guy knows all the weird Second Life trivia history. If you want to know something that happened like 15 years ago, he's the one to ask. He is kind of him in real life as well. <laughs> oh, I would have to ask him about that.
Oh, I know who the Jetsons are. Yeah, I think we all do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have a few minutes left here. If anybody had any other questions, uh, go ahead and post it now. Or forever hold your peace until next month. Yes, if you don't answer now, we'll never answer them again today within this hour. But we'll answer next month for course tickets. Chats. I would watch that. Not yet, Adam. Yeah, no word on that. Mm -hmm. The walls called around your... I think there's probably something coming for Halloween, I believe. I think I heard something about that. What are the walls called around your property, you know, where you see the, the landscape and, uh, you know, the waterfalls, the landscape, the trees? What is that called? I've are you thinking of a synth around? Okay, my property has that missing, so I just wanted to know what that was called, so I can, I guess, put a note to the owner, I guess? Maybe not a synth surround. What is it called? It sounds like you are beginning to describe um, an object that sits just to the edge of a region. Um, it gives it the look that it's expanding much farther than it really is. Like you see mountains and waterfalls and another landscaping. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Like now I can see my neighbor's home and uh, just other sky boxes and stuff. Oh, are you renting it from someone? Is that what you're saying? Like you have a landlord? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. That's if that's what you're, if that's what's missing that was there before. Yeah, that's what you can tell them it is. That sounds like I what it see. is. Might also I sound see. like if you're renting from somewhere and their region has it has no um, numerous sections parcels and were there like barriers that are erected between the parcels, so you couldn't see your neighbor. Like maybe rock formations or things like that. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, it's been you about five walls. Yeah, be like, hey, I yeah. can see my neighbor before, now I can. <laughs> What a fabulous meeting. I feel like I've had a right old gossip. Thank you, guys. <laughs> We're here to serve. What can I say? I guess to answer your question, if it is missing, then you can reach out to um, the estate manager or the estate owner who um, can help you um, with the barrier, uh, maybe they can explain why it was removed or maybe they can replace it, but that'd be my first step, just to reach out to um, those who are managing your parcel. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Absolutely. 
always welcome. Of course. I believe that uh, one of the other teams is working on a bear now, too. So there might be another one here before too much longer. And of course, we all have our, our personal ones as well. Any last uh, comments, questions before we head off? Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of dodged one. <laughs> it's a shame because I love Gotcha, but. As do we all. <laughs> a Gotcha. <laughs> that sounds suspect. <laughs> I have only ever been a model resident. <laughs> right. Often, apart from the early days. <laughs> as long as you count, don't count all those other times, you've been fine. <laughs> Well, that's our time. Uh, thank you, everyone, for attending. Our next meeting will be September 22nd. Pass me a link, Prokofi. I'll take a listen. And yeah, uh, thank you all for coming. We'll see you next time. Take care, all. Have a good day, everybody. <laughs>